well, is it a window and click tracker? It's already on, so I'm not going to do anything. Click track motion. Now, this shows up with a, this tiny little tracker. It's tiny on my screen just because um, this is HD quality. So just zoom in using the zoom in button. And let's drag this um, somewhere, anywhere. Um, not actually anywhere. I'm, I'm lying to you. Um, what you want, I'm just going to expand the field, is this little point here, you want to put on something which has high contrast. And you see how it zooms in for you? It zooms in so you could see the surface of whatever you're doing. This has high contrast. The reason why is because you have white, bluish, and then something that's darker and purple. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. Now, this square, is, to me, is really what it's going to try to track. If it gets confused, this is the box that's going to look for this. So the more high contrast you have, um, the better. Also with tracking, the less motion blur you have, the better. This is actually a bad tracking spot because this is some specular light on glass. Now specular light on glass moves a lot, so this is a bad tracker. But um, let's see if we can make it work. So these, these are the buttons to use you use to track. Um, also we only have this selected, the position, it's only going to try to track the position. For right now we're just going to leave that the same. You could track the scale and rotation but this clip is just really really iffy to track in the first place so we'll see what we can do with just the position. Um, so I'm clicking, this is to play track backwards. So it's tracking fluently. I can stop it wherever I want you know, track frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. Um, you get the idea. But um, let's just track it and see how it does. You can see if it's tracking correctly. And right now it's doing an okay job. Doing pretty well, even with the motion blur. Um, it's Oh, see, it messed up there. It totally did mess up there. But the good thing about this is, though it messed up, um, you can see that it's it's tracking before my combat, my composition actually starts, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go ahead and fix it because it's tracking behind what's actually going to be played, as you can see in my playhead. So, let's just go forward again to see where we have to still, because we still have to track, because we started tracking in the middle. Um, see, right there, right there about is about when we started the track. So let's track this way forward now, see how well it does tracking in this direction. And it's going, going, it's good, it's good. Even with the motion blur, blah, blah, blah. I know sometimes this can be a pain, especially because my computer is going slow. Um, it's getting a little blurry here, but um, After Effects does a nice job tracking. See how it kind of, it did, it couldn't track that blur. Um, don't freak out. Do not freak out. This is where we as humans have to come in and tell the computer what to do. Just click the box and drag it to where you know the track is right there and then go forward one frame and then go forward one frame again and again and I think it's back on track so if we start tracking forward again I think it should be fine and as we can see again it is tracking correctly um most people will say that the uh tracker in After Effects isn't that good, but on the contrary, the tracker is actually quite great. I mean, the people who developed the tracker were geniuses. Um, they, they spent years, actually centuries, getting this technology. Um, they, were, they weren't actually human. They were aliens who made this tracking software for After Effects. And because of these amazing aliens is why we have this amazing tracking software today. Um... And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Alright, so we can see that's still tracking, but it's tracking past where we actually, our composition stops. So just, we can just press the space bar, or just stop it. Um, and so now we have this awesome tracking data. Now what are we going to do with this tracking data? Well, this is where our null object comes in. Go to our tracker panel and click edit target. And it says track to null 2. That's what I want. Null 2 is down there. You know, we could track directly to the spore, but we don't want this, and this is why. If we tell the tracking data to 
connect to the spore, it will take all this data exactly where it is and put it to where the origin of the spore is. And we want to move the spore independently. I'll show you. Just press OK and then click Apply. Now, let's leave X and Y the same because that's the symbolizes the x-axis and the y-axis and we both want it to move up and down just like this so click OK now it puts us back in our composition now if we look we have this awesome null object I'm gonna solo the spore or hide the spore to hide the spore just click the eye um, we have this awesome null object which is following this jar pretty well now, what can we do with this strider, you're asking me? Well, it's simple. Um, click the spore again. Now, we have the spore lined up around here. Um, I'm just going to line it up again. So, I'm just clicking and dragging. Nothing nothing too fancy. Uh, maybe scale it up just to make it look like it's on the edges of my... I'm pressing shift and I'm just dragging up and down to... About right there looks like it's clinging to the edges of this jar. And that's what I want to make it, you know, look like it's doing. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to move this null below my camera. And I'm going to select the spore. And this thing, the squiggly thing here, it's called a pick whip. What this will do is if I pick it, pick whip it to the null, it's saying that wherever the null goes, the spore will go. I can freely move the spore, but when I click play you can see that the spore now moves along with my um, jar. Uh, it's not perfect if I render over here. Um, the one problem we have with this is that the uh, null is only tracking position. It's not tracking rotation. And though I have a pretty steady hand, it is messing up the spore. I mean, this, it, the spore is not rotating correctly along with the uh, null object. And to just speed this up, I'm gonna again lower my resolution just because, just to make this faster on everyone, you don't want to be sitting here waiting for this to render. Um, so we're just playing through this slowly and we can see like places like this, it's it just it doesn't rotate correctly. Um, and you're asking me, well, how can we fix this? Um, we could go back in and try to track the rotation as well and try to get a, a good track out of it. But, um, you know, I think this is just something you can do manually. So, right now, I'm going to stop it. Um, you know, see, it's, not, it, it's pretty good, but it's not perfect. So, I'm going to first, I'm going to click off the sound because when you're RAM previewing and sound is on, sound comes up and... This program isn't really for sound, and I don't really need it right now. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to click our spore. And you know how I said that everything has kind of a shortcut? Well, rotation is also a shortcut. Click R. The only thing that pops up is rotation. Now, this is where we're going to click the stopwatch. Isn't that fun? Now, I can manually do it from these numeric values. I could just tweak it from here. Or I can just tweak it from their rotation tool at the top. Either one works. Um, I'm just going to use the one at the top for now. And I'm just going to tweak it the way I see fit, just going through the timeline in parts. Um, probably do the in frame two. And I'm just, I'm just tweaking where it is. Alright, um... As we can see, it's 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 okay. I'm gonna I'm just gonna scrub through this pretty fast, see what we have so far. And uh, right now, it's looking actually pretty good. Um, so that was a tutorial, guys. I hope I hope you like it. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, there's more we can do, and there's more we're going to do. So um, let's just keep going, and I'll show you how to finish this all off. And there may there may be even a treat in the end for you guys. All right, um, it's almost done. Uh, it's getting there. It's getting there slowly, very, very slowly. <sighs> okay, as we can see, um, the rotation kind of helped. Not a lot, but kind of. See right there, the rotation spikes 
Um, it, it just looks odd. Like, right there, it goes... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, what just happened? Um, that's why we do these things. That's why we can manipulate them. Just rotate it. Um, 